This design example will see how to calculate the top tube height from the ground, making sure that the person standing over uh, the top tube does not get an unsafe position. Um, so how do we do that? So the um, in, that, in this case, we're trying to um, kind of go for the reach uh, situation. So the shorter person, if a shorter person can safely stand over this top tube, a taller person would be able to do that safely as well. So the design criteria here is basically uh, reach. Um, and then the body dimension is a uh, crotch uh, height. You can google it and find out what is cross height is. Now, user population in this case, most bike manufacturer, they do manufacture bike frames both for male, female, also it can go all the way from the extra, extra small to extra large. So this is a custom type of situation. So I'm gonna show it for, let's say, I'll basically show it for all of them. So I'll write a um, custom, kind of population. Um, if you are designing for 10 percentile female, then you would be writing here 10 percentile female, something like that. So in this case, I'll write custom here as well. And then the computed dimension would be basically, uh, if you're doing it for 10 percentile, it's just male, it's gonna be this. Uh, so for the sake of this calculation, let's say we do uh, female, so this is crotch, uh, let's say we, we are designing for female 10 percentile population. And then um, the anthropometric table. So I have already converted all these um, dimensions. So I have extracted this value for the cross height of male, female, standard deviation. Also converted for 10 percentile, 25th, 75, and 90. 98th percentile. So then for 10 percentile female, basically this is the 10 percentile female oh, height. Now clothing adjustment for shoes, typically we add one inch, so that's gonna basically uh, increase the top tube height from the ground, and then um, you need about two to four inches recommended clearance so that you can safely stand over uh, the top tube. So let's say three inch um, clearance for the top tubes. It should be three inch lower uh, than the actual measurements. Then you can sum basically these two adjustment and the length. So for a 10 percentile female, the top tube should be about 26 inches from the ground. Um, then she would be able to safely stand over it. Um, I have calculated all of this dimension right here, but something went wrong. What is this? Oh, I see. So I didn't freeze that. So I should freeze this so it doesn't copy the... So this is the... Um, calculated value. So if you're designing for a 90 percentile male, uh, you need about 33 inches from the ground. Now, um, typically larger frame is better for stability and everything. Uh, that's why taller people typically need also, you'll feel cramped and everything. So there are a lot of other complexity in bike design. Um, so typically this top tube is intended to be as high as possible from the ground to kind of accommodate people um, nicely in the bike. Um, so this is how we calculate the top tube height. Now, if you're asked to do 25th percentile male or female, you can follow this process and uh, do the calculation correctly.